Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play The Game by Pandasaurus Games. It's ages eight and up, one to five players, and takes about 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. Here we have a two player game set up and you have two one stacks, two 100s, and then the numbers two through 99 are shuffled up in this pile. And your goal is to play all of those numbers between the two of you on these four stacks. From one, you play in ascending order back up to 100, and from 100s, you play descending back down. Uh, in a one-player game, you are dealt eight cards. Two players, you are dealt seven cards each. And three to five, you get six cards each. So to start play, one of the things I love about this game is that a certain amount of table talk is allowed. So as long as you don't say card numbers, you can say whatever you want. So it is not set who would start first. You discuss it. You say, I think I should go first. And here, this person would say, I think I should go first. I have the highest card. They say, go for it. And on your turn, you must always play a minimum of two cards. Uh, you can play more than that, but you have to play at least two. So this person would start and they have to play down from here. So they pick one of the piles to start playing on. And they played card one card, they have to play another. Uh, the other excellent piece to this game is there's a rule of 10 for uh, each of the piles. So this is a descending pile and this person has three fantastic cards in their hand. And what they would do is they would play the 99 first and then they would play the 68 and they can jump back up to a card if it's exactly 10 above. So they can jump up to this 78 and then they can jump up again to this 88. They have a 28 here, you can't do no, no funny business where you play a 28 and then just skip up to 68, 78. It has to be within 10. So they play them and their turn is over and then they have to draw cards to get their hand back up to seven again. Okay, now it's this person's turn and they're gonna play down here. And as you can see, they have a similar setup because they have the eight and the 18. So this person would play the 18 first and then they would go ahead and play the eight and then they might as well play the nine and the 10 and they would refill their hand back up to seven cards. And obviously during the game, you hold your cards like this in front of you. Your opponent does not get to see them uh, because then they would see exactly what you have. And you're allowed table talk for who's gonna start first. And a lot of times you use it where somebody will play a card, like if it's this person's turn and they play um, a 16 here and they're about to play another card and the other person will say, oh, don't play there, please. Can you try to play here or anywhere else because I would have a move there. So you're allowed to do that, but you can't say, hey, I have a six and I would jump this back if you leave it. So please don't do that. So table talk is allowed, but without any specific numbers involved. Let's skip ahead to the end of a game. If it is this person's turn, they have to play two cards. So they would play this 97 and a uh, 53. These started out at one, so they're going up. It gets a little harder to remember later on sometimes. And there's only one card left in the stack. So they draw that, and that is now part of their hand. And now there's a new rule. Instead of having to play two cards per turn, you only have to play one. You can still play more if you would like, but you're only required to play one. So this person would just play one and say, back to you, buddy. And uh, this person would play one, they're going down. And you go back and forth. Uh, if you're playing a game with, uh, especially with three to five players, if someone runs out of cards during this time, but other people still have more cards, that doesn't matter. You just uh, skip over that person and continue to play. And play ends either when you have been able to, let's just say you go ahead and you play all your cards. You made it, you made it. 
this went down, they made it. Um, you win if you've done that. Uh, the game ends if either prior to this, when there's a bunch of cards left in the stack, if someone's not able to play two cards on their turn, even if it's just one person that can't play, game over. However many cards are left in the stack and in hands are what you had left over. Uh, and if it's just one card you can't play at the very end, then you would, the game is over at that point when someone can't play their card that they're required to. An excellent result is having 10 or fewer cards left and you win if you manage to play all of them. So that's how to play the game. I love a good cooperative game, especially one geared for adults. And it's simple to learn the basics, but challenging to actually win the game. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.